All right, we're less than a week away from the release of the Unicorn Pack. And that means it's time to try and use up as many runs as I can <laughs> in one video. Uh, usually I keep them separate, but these are all uh, linked and you'll see why as we go. So the first run is going to be a request that was put in a while back. I think actually more than one person has requested this. And that is trying to get the team of all five coconut pets. So that's the gorilla, the velociraptor, mongoose, wildebeest, and doberman. And I, I think the original request also mentioned trying to get them all to have coconut, um, which is much more complicated than it actually sounds. Um, and uh, you'll see why as we go. But here I'm setting up, I'm on turn six. I'm just carrying level ups uh, onto the next turn. We want to try and hit some specific units and maybe you can guess what they are going to be based on my current lineup. Um, we're carrying the chipmunk, which I don't do very often in customs. I think it's one of those things that sounds really good, uh, in pr but in practice, it's just not that great. Um, however, I was determined to, to make it work in this one. So we level up twice. I get Penguin and Shoebill. And Shoebill is obviously what I'm looking for because I now have two one gold strawberries. However, I don't have anything to put the strawberries on. So we get a little bit of a buff from the lobster onto the Shoebill. And here we go. There is Doberman. Doberman is the only coconut pet that is not tier 6. Um, so we really had to find it this turn to have any chance of getting this going. And actually here the penguin does nothing for us. We have no level 2s. So we'll just sell it and then uh, buy sell the crow. Or maybe I'll just keep the crow for next turn. And we get another Doberman. So we really also need to try and get into position to have multiple level ups on turn 9. Because we have four different tier 6s that we can hit uh, that will all be good for us. And no surprise we lose here. But I think, yeah, I'm going to get the shoe bill to level 2. Maybe I'm going to do it actually right now. Okay, we are going to do it now. We really have to uh, scale the Doberman up. Um, yeah, I think here actually I'm going to uh, take the Axolotl and give the Strawberry to it. And then just get rid of the Lobster because now we have a team of only Tier 5s in addition to the Doberman, which means the ability will work. And something you'll find, you know, especially if you've had a bad start, you get to this stage, you can actually win with a two squad with Doberman um, as long as you draw the right opposing teams. A lot of teams that are struggling will probably have one big unit that has no equipment. And that means that uh, the Doberman is just going to crush them. Um, and luckily it worked out for us there. So I'm freezing another strawberry. And unfortunately, yeah, we, we need the... Uh, Maybe I should have kept that shoe bill frozen, but we need to find the other axolotl. So <laughs> here, this person, uh, I always laugh when I see them. They play, um, they play this lineup: uh, shoe bill, not shoe bill, <laughs> toad, elephant, blowfish. Every single game, uh, I, I'll never understand the fascination some people have with playing the same lineup. But this is probably the most important level up of the game. We get Velociraptor on turn 10. And it's actually very important to get the Velociraptor early. Usually in Star Pack, as we face another Elephant Blowfish, usually in Star Pack, you're buying a base stats Velociraptor and just putting it at the back, letting it give coconut to one of your big strawberry units. But in this case, we actually need the Velociraptor to be scaled. And actually here, I'm not going to take the Mongoose because Mongoose needs to be the last thing I buy. We are going to try and level up the Velociraptor. Now that's partly to give us two coconuts down the line, but also because um, we could potentially find one of the other tier sixes that we need. Now we don't get it here. I think, yeah, I'm just going to feed the Velociraptor. So the reason we actually need the Velociraptor scaled up is because with the requirement of trying to get coconut on everything, we're going to have to put Velociraptor at the front because the mongoose toy will give the Velociraptor the coconut. And then we need to have strawberry on the mongoose as well so that the Velociraptor gives the mongoose coconut. 
the other pets, the Doberman can activate itself. The gorilla can activate based on uh, getting hit, which happens quite a lot at the start of battle. And then the wildebeest is a bit of an odd one. You actually need to have cherry on very specific pets. And uh, I find this out multiple times to uh, my dismay that it doesn't work if you put cherry on Doberman. Um, the coconut overwrites the cherry before it activates, uh, which is a little bit annoying. And we also can't put um, cherry on the Velociraptor because the toy will go first and the cherry will be overwritten. So here the hybrid scaling of having the shoe bill plus the uh, um, axolotl is actually working out really well. And we're competing with some of these pretty strong teams. The problem is we're running out of turns to make this happen. We've got the gorilla. We need to find another. Um, actually, I think here I'm probably just rolling for cherry because we need two cherries for the wildebeest to work. Um, and so, yeah, if we win this one, we're, we're down to uh, nine wins. And having triple coconut like this, that is one of the downsides of getting the Velociraptor early and you're using the strawberry scaling, is that you're not kind of, you're, you're unlikely to, to tie uh, and you're winning a lot of games. So it's kind of a double-edged sword that you're going to run out of time to find what you need. And you can see here, I'm now struggling because I need to buy the mongoose buy strawberry for the mongoose uh, and then buy the gorilla and two more cherries as well. And of course, if we replace any of the strawberries with cherry on a previous turn, we would have lost the shoe bill scaling. And there were many, many attempts at this where I got to the end and it looked like my team was strong enough. But then, you know, there are so many really egregious teams in the, uh, the, the very late game in uh, customs. But here we're going to rearrange for a, a deliberate throw. Since we actually have four coconuts, um, it is going to be touch and go, but you can see this team has uh, eel double level two poodle, and we still almost tied. So we're just going to roll down looking for the cherry. We are now on our last life, so we can't really afford any um, more mistakes, and we can't try and throw the next battle. So there's a cherry. So actually we have to sell the 2035 axolotl, which is quite painful. We rearrange and we're gonna have to take a low statted gorilla. Most of the time when I was getting this far, I would have a, a pretty beefy gorilla. And unfortunately we are one or two gold short there of buying the second cherry. But here we go, turn 16, we match with Blammer. Scorpion at the front when you have coconut is incredible. And actually, Every single pet on the team, despite not having the cherry, ended up with coconut there because the wildebeest got it from the velociraptor and the gorilla actually got hit. So we didn't quite get the, the perfect lineup there, but it is incredibly difficult to do that. Um, and here are some of the other attempts. This was a bit closer, although I think I had the cherry on the wrong pet there. So yeah, velociraptor and um, doberman, it, the cherry won't work. We, it needed to be on the gorilla. And then here's another one, um, very unfortunate opposing team where the hoopo bird removes the uh, coconut. In fact, actually, you know, we, we get the activation on the wildebeest in this one, but when it's double octopus, uh, coconut is just pretty useless. Um, so we end up losing. But it was a fun exercise trying to make that team work. Uh, I'll put the exact correct lineup in the comments, uh, in the, not in the comments, in the description, if anyone wants to, um, have an attempt at that themselves. So linked to the, that build is this other request. Uh, it was quite a while ago that someone put this in. I think I had it on my list as well. And that was to have a permanent coconut in turtle pack. And there are a couple of ways you can do that. You can either have um, hedgehog or uh, badger. And instead of using a hedge, like hedgehog would be great if we had a team of four gorillas. But these days, since a cat is a lot weaker, it's much harder to get a, a team of four tier sixes that are all the same and scale them all up. So actually what I'm gonna do here is uh, a little bit of um, badger pill technology. Unfortunately, I have bought some cans, which you don't really want to do if you're um, pilling badger. 
uh, I did that in order to um, get the uh, the higher static gorilla. But if you pill the badger and uh, let it hit the camel at the same time, the gorilla gets the coconut and it gets a buff from the camel. So we've got one gorilla, but I would really like more than one. And we get a chocolate there. You can see that the gorilla's ability is grayed out, so in the following battle, it's not going to be able to gain coconut. Actually, an armadillo team, which is pretty unusual. And yeah, the gorilla is going to uh, get uh, destroyed here by the peacock. Um, I don't know if we're... Could we still be okay here? No, I think uh, maybe the rest of their squad is too big. Okay, we are going to be fine, and it's not even close. Not sure why I was so uh, worried there. We'll take the level up on the gorilla. So now we have the permanent coconut, and we also have uh, two more activations of the coconut after that. Uh, which is good because it's pretty common that the co the initial coconut will get removed by something, whether or not it's um, mosquito or leopard or um, blowfish. But we also find another badger. So uh, four gorillas with coconut is, you know, maybe a bit of a tough ask, but I think we can definitely do two given the number of turns we have left. And uh, turkey parrot. But we are going to give quite a lot of stats to the gorilla here. From the camel and so we get the activation and uh, kill off the shark and I think I'm just gonna roll for pill now or maybe I'm not necessarily worried about getting the uh, permanent coconut on the second gorilla okay we don't find pill that turn it is kind of funny having a uh... yeah okay there you go the coconut on the gorilla at the front was removed by the um... Uh, the mosquito so very common scenario yeah and we go down to one heart so yeah boost up the gorilla at the front and then there's the pill so I think am I gonna sell the cat now yeah just do it now get the coconut onto the second gorilla it does take five damage from the badger if you pill a base stats badger the damage is going to be much weaker than that Um, so now we have double coconut. I mean, it's so rare. If you're just playing arena, I mean, I have had actually someone do this um, when I was still playing ranked. I, I played someone who had pilled a, a badger onto a gorilla mid game, uh, but that was, um, you know, golden versus uh, turtle pack and they already had a commanding lead. But yeah, I, I'm not sure. Maybe, I, I don't know exactly how many hours of turtle pack I've played. It's a lot, but I've probably only seen maybe two or three opposing teams uh, that have had a gorilla with coconut on it. So I think here I am actually going to take the armadillo, which is um, kind of funny. But since we have the two units that have uh, coconut already and they also have multiple activations available, um, we can get pretty good value out of having the high health. So we're going to gamble, and I, I go for the uh, 1.5 level on the back gorilla. And we actually get matched with a zombie cricket, which is something else that I rarely ever see these days. And the steak that it had does nothing against the coconut. They do have the crab with steak as well, but I think the elephant is going to take care of it, and the second coconut is actually completely unnecessary. But there you go, something fun you can try if you're just, uh, maybe if you're just playing free to play only. Having a permanent coconut on Gorilla in pack one is um, a pretty fun thing to do. And lastly, we've got another run from my weekly. Uh, I still have quite a bit of footage left over from it that I'm trying to use up. And uh, we're quite late in the game here. I almost made the mistake of buying the pizza bread there. It doesn't work on Gorilla. But uh, we do have the level three turkey and I find the fourth gorilla. And clearly I'm going for the five of a kind. But I don't just want to have a five gorilla win. I want them to have coconut as well. That was definitely something that I had in mind when I was making the pack. That, uh, you know, hedgehog, badger and pill are all in there. And there's no melon in the shop at the end. So pilling the hedgehog or badger to get the permanent coconut, I feel, was worth more. I'm not sure if I actually faced any opposing teams that had done that. Um, maybe there was one, I honestly don't remember. I suppose if you get the gorilla up to high enough health, 
you're probably going to activate the coconut fairly frequently anyway. Um, because there are also a fair number of snipes, um, you know, you can it can just be activated at the start of battle anyway. And with some of the Lynx teams can definitely do enough damage to activate it through Potato as well. Although it would kind of be a bit counterintuitive to put Potato on uh, a, a Gorilla. Now this is really weird here where we face the Elephant Blowfish. I feel like normally it wouldn't um, activate the shots separately like that. Um, you know, if there were heart effect pets on the team. Uh, I could be wrong, but it would be interesting to test that with some of the other heart pets. So on nine wins now, we find the last gorilla, but I'm not willing to just win with five gorillas. I need to get the permanent coconut. So we're going to keep rolling for pill and um, hedgehog or badger, and there's a badger. So because I bought some cans, uh, again, we're in the same situation where the badger is actually going to do more damage than it needs to. But I don't think that matters too much. I mean, that is one of the benefits of coconut is that your health can be pretty low, but you can still deal a lot of damage if the coconut doesn't get removed before you attack. But now we need to uh, lose or uh, tie. So I think I'm going to put the two coconuts at the back. And that means that they can probably be removed by mid-battle snipes like um, Cobra or uh, Blowfish. And actually there I rolled past a pill and then found a Mammoth, which was a bit unfortunate. Again, it's Blowfish. It instant kills a Gorilla because they've got a level two Wolverine. There's a lot of Wolverine players uh, on the go in this particular game, but it is gonna be a tie because the coconut was removed. So unfortunately, yeah, we don't have the pill for the Mammoth. We'll just take the lasagna and then uh, unfortunately, I rolled double chocolate. Normally, rolling double chocolate is amazing, but in this situation, it's probably one of the worst things I could have rolled. So we're just going to buy one of them onto probably the 26-26, uh, yeah, and just keep that frozen. And it's another Wolverine Snipe team, actually Wolverine Mosquito, which is kind of funny. Uh, they also have a permanent skewer, so lots of uh, lots of us going for those atypical perks in the shop. But yeah, the coconut on the middle gorilla is going to be too strong. And there we go, five gorillas in my weekly. So hopefully that satisfies a bunch of requests at once. I'm sure there was multiple requests for coconut teams, but also multiple requests for badger pill.